Welcome to this new video. Welcome to this microphone ID. Hello. Anyway, welcome to this new video. It's been a while. Been a little, it's been a while. Well, I can't even talk English anymore. But I'm back with a new video, and today I'm gonna do a quick Q and A about the world prep. I asked you guys some questions on Instagram. I was like, ask me a question about world prep, and you ask me some questions on Instagram. So I'm gonna go to it real quick. First one is how much will you have to cut in the end? Also, can we have a little gun show? I don't think I have to cut weight at the end. Not not really. I weighed in this morning around seventy five point five kg. Uh, yes, that's kind of heavy. But if I just try to maintain that body weight the upcoming three weeks, I don't think I have to cut really cut weight. I'm just going to watch my uh, food intake a little bit more now, so I won't go over that uh, seventy six weight but i haven't been heavier than 76 kg the past few months so i'm not scared to get heavier than that so i don't think i have to cut weight i'm just gonna watch a little bit more what i eat if i see like oh my god i'm getting fucking heavy now but the 76 weight class is perfect for me because i don't have to lose weight and that's amazing for strength so i don't think i have to cut weight and a gun show well okay okay skinny as fuck if someone's watching me <laughs> through my window it's kind of weird okay next question what is your goal weight for the prep um uh, I, I like i try to not stick or aim for certain weights because i know if i don't make it like i don't get the weight i feel shitty about it and it can fuck up my competition so i try to just focus on giving like my best on the competition day and accept whatever will happen there if you give a draw and something is fucked up you still gave a draw so nothing to do about it and of course there are, are like a few weights i would like to hit and um, that's a 130 squat 100 kg bench would be pretty sick but for some reason, 100 kg, just the weight itself, it's scary. So I'm just aiming for <laughs> something higher than the last meet. So um, that's that's going to be 97.5 kg. It's definitely there, I guess. I don't know what will happen there, you know. But I would like to hit 100 kg. That would be sick. And I want to hit a 200 kg plus deadlift. Um, I like. There's a chance that I can be in the top three deadlifts on the World Championship. And I'm aiming for that. So I don't know what I have to deadlift there. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to hype the fuck out of myself. And aiming for that top 3 uh, deadlift. That would be sick. So I don't know. Maybe 205. Maybe 207.5. Maybe 210. I'm just going to try it and see what will happen there. You know, With enough hype and focus and whatever. I can lift whatever. That's not true. But I'm going to do my best. A lot of people are asking me what they want to hit for my total what i want to hit for my total but what what i just said it's going to probably end up with a i would like to hit a 430 i guess let's see 130 squat 100 bench and let's say one 205 kg deadlift it's going to be a four, 435 total and my current total pr is at the uh, meat PR is at 417 and a half, less meat. But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna focus too much on the, the weights I have to lift. I'm just gonna focus on giving my best that day and enjoying the competition. How does one get recognized to be able to represent their nation at IPF? Uh, well, I competed at the national competition and there's a qualification total you have to lift there. And if you hit that total, you will get invited. You just have to compete at national competitions and i don't know every country has different rules but if you compete at nationals there's a big chance and you have like a big total or big enough for worlds there's a chance that they will invite you but in some countries they just invite random people like your total's big come on and but in the netherlands it's like you have to hit this total and you can join us um, and you have to hit that certain total at the national competition you can't do a random competition hit that total there and get invited not how it works so Compete at national competitions. Will you be hitting PRs this time? <laughs> this time? <laughs> Will you finally hit PRs on your competition? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Um, mm, I don't know. Because my squat gym PR is at 135. 
Bench is at one hundred two and a half. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna lift more than that in the competition. Not really aiming for that as well. And my deadlift gym PR is two hundred five. So maybe I will break my all-time uh, deadlift PR, but I don't know, man. From which age you started training? Oh, more people are asking that. Um, I've started training since I was 14 years old, like April 2016. I started training serious, so that's around five and a half years now, and I'm in love with it. I swear it's my life. So yeah, how much can you? How much you can lift? Vraagteken. Oh, question mark. Like, okay, meet PR, squat, uh, 122.5. What? Meet PR, competition PR for the bench press is 97.5 kg. Over a deadlift, the meat PR is 200 kg. How many weights are you lifting in bicep curls? 100 dumbbell. Uh, last time, once, I did, like a few weeks ago, I did 24. Four, I guess, for four reps each arm. So 24 dumbbells each arm for four reps. I'm going to show you here. That's what I did. Um, yeah, It was for a challenge and I, I got money for it. That's funny. How much can you overhead press? I overhead press today with dumbbells. I did 26 kg for eight reps, three sets. I don't know what this has to do with, with, with the world prep. But okay. Okay. Well, most questions were what I'm aiming for as a total. That's basically it. But yeah, I've learned something. Like in the time competing, I've learned something really important for myself. Everyone is different, of course. But doing more and more competition made me realize that you shouldn't be focusing on a certain weight you want to lift. You shouldn't be having like a, a ultra focus on I want to hit that weight. Because if you're at the competition and some things feel weird or the atmosphere is not what you're used to or the bar is different or a lot of things can influence like how you feel in that day you can feel amazing or you can feel shitty and if you feel shitty and you're going for that squat and for example you've got 140 kg in your head you're going for that last attempt on squat and it sucks and you don't make it you're going to feel bad the whole competition squat is the first thing to do and if you feel bad the whole competition is only going to fuck up the joy you have in the competition just because you didn't hit that certain weight and nobody cares about that you know most important thing about competing is enjoying the process towards it making the small steps getting better and better and then enjoying and giving everything you got at the competition day don't stick to certain weights you want to hit because you you will never know what's going to happen on the competition day so let go of that and focus on giving it your best and then accepting and appreciating that you gave it your best. That's a tip from me to you. Anyway, there was a small Q&A to fill this video. <laughs> and to, of course, share some of my story. Um, if you got any questions, just send me a DM on Instagram or whatever. Drop down in the, the comments. I'm going to show you what I did. Workouts, like heavy singles and stuff. I'm going to show you right now.
thank you for watching have a nice life